Private 5G is, 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 a, is a great question, one that comes up a lot, right? Um, for me, as the enterprise marketing, you know, we're constantly asking our customers, you know, where does it sit on your roadmap? Where is it kind of fitting in? And it, it depends. And, you know, in some of the verticals, for sure, they're very interested in it. Uh, area, folks with outdoor Wi-Fi, I view this as a very viable replacement for outdoor Wi-Fi. But for the most part, we're not getting a huge pull right now for private 5G in the enterprise. So uh, right now we're partnering with folks, like with Salona and other folks. You know, we're happy to work with them. We do open APIs. We're happy to, you know, create collaborative solutions, which we have. Um, but for the most part, it's not our main priority right now on our roadmap. Juniper is all about experience-first networking, right? So we're all about how do you switch from connectivity to better user connections and experiences. So a lot of what we put into our wireless solution is, is focused around that, right? How do you leverage AI ops, automation, insight, to do better user experiences. So whether that's better service levels, that's better input from applications like Zoom or, or, or from Teams, that's better um, uh, conversational interface using you know, a generative AI and chat GPT, that's primarily what we're seeing our customers ask for and that's what we're primarily putting into our roadmap you know, for, for the end of this year going into next year. In general, I mean, when it comes to the management of, and operations of, of wireless, I mean, that's a big reason why people switch to, to Juniper, right? And that comes back to the AI ops in the cloud, right? The fact that you can do uh, customizable service level, automated troubleshooting, you know, event correlation, predictive analytics, conversational assistant, right? That's all exactly why you'd want to do this, whether it's using, you know, a Wi-Fi 6 or 6E or 7 or private 5G. You know, the, the, the requirements are the same. So for us, they're just different connectivity mechanisms, different protocols, right? So we actually don't care. Whatever we do, though, we want that AI ops and cloud umbrella. That's the di differentiation that we can deliver versus other folks in the industry. NAS, uh, we're getting a lot of interest from NAS. Um, it just provides a, a huge degree of flexibility um, uh, from that standpoint. So we did launch a NAS service, what I would call phase one, a couple months ago. Um, that's mostly just around you know, how you acquire the gear in, in more of a leasing format, switching it from CapEx to OpEx. You know, as you get down the road, you definitely have to do more around that in terms of kind of who actually owns, you know, the ownership of the gear and how you kind of you know, manage the services. And we're, we're on that train. We're definitely very committed to that. You know, for the most part, we've seen, you know, the NAS uptick in more of the commercial space, the, the lower end enterprise. Um, but I'm guessing that'll change, you know, as it becomes a little bit more prevalent. So stay tuned. We're definitely very committed to that. And it's definitely part of our, 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 our journey. Mm -hmm.